Hello. My name is Joel. My life is all about grounding, healing, and transformation through music, poetry, and meditation. So if you are here, you found me because we resonate on the same frequency. And maybe this time is the right time for us to divinely align. This is a safe space for anyone from any place with any identity. We practice acceptance, love, and peace. Hello, beautiful souls. How are your hearts? Let's take a moment to hmm, share three things. <laughs> one, if you can share how your heart is this morning with one word. And then share what you're thankful for. One thing you're thankful for in one word. And last, where are you from? Where are you coming from this morning? Where are you located? So if it were me, full nature, Arkansas. <laughs> so yesterday we were talking about space. The expansive nature of space, right? If you think of space-time, the cosmos, the universe, it's always expanding. But if you think about our internal space, right, our space within our awareness, how we perceive the world and how attached we are to things, we'll find that we're really attached to a lot of things and they're all in a very near orbit to our center. And we get cluttered and that's when we get overwhelmed, right? So for some of you, it may be your deadlines, it may be obligations, it may be sorrow or grief or strong attachments to transitions in your life where whatever the original dynamic between you and the other are now shifting are you in a space or a place or a career or just this part of your journey and often we feel like we have to figure it all out right here and now and then that pressure <laughs> adds something else to the clutter and so if, in this um, analogy, my physical body were my awareness, everything would be right here, right? All of these relationships, all of these worries in an orbit, very near, blocking your vision. So this morning in uh, this short visualization, mindfulness practice, I want to help you create space Something we do daily is let go of our attachments, let go of our clinging, not only to the heavy things that are undesirable, but also the joyous things that are very desirable so that you can make space for new joy, <laughs> so that you can make space for new sufferings as well, because that's a part of life. And just a few days ago, we talked about the absolute truth that joy and suffering are one thing, just what side of the experience are you on, right? The beginning of the experience is suffering. On the other side, the light is the joy because you've learned, you've expanded in your awareness. So when you can create that space to see everything clearly, and it's not so tight, then there's liberation. There's liberation. Um, what can be called active concentration where you can see everything as it is without clinging to it so this morning i'm going to play a little guitar and guide us through um, this practice of creating space and something i want you to think about as we move through this practice is how your emotional expression shifts as those things that were very near are now moving into a wider orbit around you. They're still there, they're still a part of your existence, but you're just creating space so that their field of energy isn't so heavy on you and you can move through life with more ease and be able to see everything with greater clarity and make better decisions for yourself. So wherever you are, if you're, um, 
seated, that's wonderful. If you're walking, that's wonderful. If you're preparing for your day, that's wonderful. I don't practice meditation from a rigid perspective. It's very open because I like to engage it as we engage life. Life is always moving. So check in with your intuition, what's resonating for you today. Um, the most important thing is your attention with intention. So setting your attention right, on the practice on self-regulation with the intention, right? Today is creating space. Allow your eyes to gently close. Receiving a deep breath in. Settle into your body. And as you exhale, settle your body into your seat. Savoring a low belly breath in now. Allow this breath to move you, expanding the lungs and the diaphragm. And as you exhale, remember that you also move life. You are a co-creator in this experience. Savoring another low belly breath in. Allow this breath to lengthen the spine. Envision the crown being pulled upward by a thread of love and your tailbone being anchored by the force of nature, gravity. Exhaling into a posture of dignity and peace. Savoring one more low belly breath. surrender. Surrender to this present moment, letting go of fear, anxiety, worry, and doubt. You can have all of that back after this practice. But just for this moment, let it go. Exhaling and arriving in this present moment, right here and now. Continuing now to breathe at your own pace. to all of the sensations in your body. Feelings of tenderness, feelings of strength and vitality. Witness them all without judgment, while also aligning with your body's natural way of processing. Notice where your body is naturally placing the breath its depth or a shallowness. The length of the in-breath and the length of the out-breath. We'll stay right here.
Notice how the stillness creates more space for presence in the body. And to the body, we say thank you for supporting us. And to the breath, the gift from the earth, we say thank you for supporting the body. And now breathing into your heart space. Become present to all that is alive within you. Don't resist, for what you resist persist. Instead, allow yourself to stay open and aware. Don't add to or take away from all color of emotion. Each expression of your experience. For the next minute, just be a witness to the mysterious nuance and complexity within you. And if resistance finds you, meet it with a gentle breath. And on your exhale, let it go. Visualizing yourself in the middle of vacant space, the cosmos, amidst the stars and the galaxies, and in orbit around you are all of your experiences and emotions. Experiences of joy and sorrow. the closer they are to you. Each relationship, each person, each place. And you're just witnessing them in the middle. And now in a circle all around you beyond each of these items. I want you to envision your support system. In the world of the living, your close friends and family that you can lean on and trust. Also in the world of the living, the earth itself, your sacred spaces, nature, or that room space in the park, whatever it may be. In the world beyond the living, your ancestors, your angels and guides, the divine. See them making a full circle all around you. for those connections are. Remember that they are always with you. And now, with your next inhale, think about all the items in your experience that might be overwhelming you, that are in your orbit. On your exhale, surrender them to your support system. And envision.
is in each one. Your family and friends, your ancestors, angels and guides, the divine, the earth, coming in to hold the weight of all of those items. They each grab what they can hold and they draw them away from you into a broader circle, into a broader orbit. As they do, they move so far out that you might not be able to see them clearly. However, in this space, notice how the body relaxes. When you're not holding things so tightly or so near. space you not only surrender those items but you surrender your will and your needless overthinking and you surrender to your heart and as you do the heart opens in pure love
return home to your true nature. The awareness beyond each thought and the heart beyond the awareness. So we close this practice with a beautiful intention of love. Repeat the following phrases after me. May love, which is the source of all power, whose rays illuminate the entire world, also illuminate my heart. so that it too might do your work. And now the visualization I'd like to leave you with envision the sun as you are still in this space and in the sun's rays illuminating directly to your heart center as a symbol of love. And your heart gets bigger and brighter with each moment as you reflect love out into the world around you. Rest here for the last minute of our practice. Thanking the heart for holding you always. On your next exhale, gently allow your eyes to open. And return to the room. The love, light, and truth within me honors the love, light, and truth within you. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you for showing up for your heart and holding space for all of our hearts. Oh, you're welcome. Mm, you're very welcome. If you are feeling content with your practice, honor what resonates for you, you need to go. But sometimes after these sessions, um, some have questions about the meditation, so I wanted to hold space for that. How do you hold space to tend to the grieving heart? It's a great question. It's as simple as this exercise. 
I think we we want to anchor into a system and a linear path because that's how we've been trained to operate in this world. Um, the assembly line has made us think this way. But we are not machines. We are not cars. We're living entities. Our physical forms are supported by our souls. And that is bigger than our brains can comprehend. So simply creating that space to be with it all and be able to dance with your experience, whatever that heaviness is you're grieving, to give it to your support system, to call it in when you need to see it more clearly and get more curious about something you might have misunderstood, and to continue to trust and surrender. But for me, what I found um, in my grief whether it's death or loss or divorce, is to learn how to sit in that space, to be with it, but not to identify as it, right? To know that it is an experience you're having, that it is momentary, and that this too shall pass. And often that is enough to bring me back in alignment and return me home to presence, to give myself love, to be kind with those around me. And if I'm not in the space to be around others, then to create space for myself in isolation. How long have you been developing your peace and how have you always been so calm? I'm gonna answer those as one question. I've always been laid back. Um, however, peace and calm are fruits of the practice, it's really that simple, right? The calm you just felt in the meditation, if you were in the meditation, for those of you asking. Create that space for yourself every day, whether you do that with me or five minutes when you have the time. Do it every day, I, I promise. The impact of that intention, of that practice is exponential. And I've been meditating since 2010, so I guess 13 years. It's, it's that simple. It doesn't have to be a complex thing. Mm. What time in the mornings do I begin practice and is it every day? Every day at 7.30 a.m. I do hold a daily meditation in the Beautiful Souls Online community. And this morning is I'm sharing the practice that we did yesterday um, from the community. So if that resonates, there's more information on that at my website. I hope that you all have a beautiful day and that you create the space to be with your heart in an authentic way. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Much love and light. Peace.